My name is Logan Boucher. I'm an assistant manager and projectionist here. It's been a theater since the early 1900s. Um, recently it was purchased by the university, I think in 2006. Uh, but it's, it's been a theater pretty much 100 years now or so. The way the distribution works, we have to compete with the Athena Grand on State Street. Uh, so we typically end up with movies that have independent distributors, uh, less mainstream Hollywood films. Currently, uh, we're starting Casablanca tomorrow for Valentine's Day, and then we'll be playing again on Friday. Uh, we're picking up the movie Quartet and Amour this weekend as well. And we also have the Oscar-nominated shorts. Our management has changed around a little bit. We've been doing some new advertising, uh, getting some more promotional materials out there, and business has been stepping up lately. Having the Athena here, uh, our film school, along with our video production program, uh, are relatively renowned within this region. So I think it's great having uh, some more independent kind of experimental films for the students in those pro programs to see. And additionally, it's a lot cheaper than a typical movie theater, so I think it's great for college students to be able to see movies while they're away from home. Right now, we're uh, one of the few theaters still playing 35 millimeter film prints. So we play a mix of film prints running through an old 1970s projector in addition to, we uh, occasionally play Blu-ray, just like your home theater as well, uh, but are not yet digital like most of the movie theaters. Why should OU students come to the Athena? Well, it's a lot cheaper than the Athena Grand. We play a lot of movies that you wouldn't be able to see anywhere else in the country almost. And it's just uh, a nice small little theater. Half the time you come in, you'll have your own private screening. So why shouldn't they come in?